Now, programming the FMC. So I'm gonna go through I'm gonna go through this as fast as I can. So first we need to tell it where we are, pausing it. If we go to the second page here, we'll get the uh, GPS, one of the GPS's and pop it in the RS position, that helps it out. And uh, tell it where we are. Uh, doesn't really matter. Stance that I'm quite familiar with. Uh, so we can put stance to root. Uh, it doesn't really matter, I'm just making it up here guys, just so you can see. You can see it's one of uh, the newer 737 Gen uh, FMC's with uh, two routes available. So, um, Stansted, and let's say we're flying to, I don't know, Madrid, I'm quite familiar with also. Mike Delta. And uh, runway, so taking off 22 is Stansted. And a flight number, this is just what ATC see us. Um, this is the what ATC see us as. Uh, so then we go approaches the departures and arrivals. So I can select 22, back to Monaco for example, and then an arrival at Madrid, doesn't really matter. That one and that one and that one. Like I say, I'm just making it up guys, not a real flight plan here. Um, once done that, go to in it ref. Uh, there we go, the navs should be finished anytime soon. There we go. So the navs just flipped over and that's then finished. Aligning. So now I can pop in a cost index, whichever the company uses. Uh, the reserves, let's say uh, 2.3 for example. Is your fuel rate 58 tons, whichever it is from your uh, dispatcher. You can pop in the plan uh, fuel, so for example 8.5 tons. Helps with those calculations. Uh, let's say we're flying at flight level 380. Uh, cruise wind you get from the flight plan, let's say 200 at 250. And transition altitude, we normally make that 601 just in case you get leveled at 6,000 feet. N1 limit, so from the ATIS that we've grabbed, pop the temperature in, and uh, that is initially it. Also, if you want to be very good, activate the routes. Uh, so then, page two of the route page, and we can pop in uh, our route. In my case, I'm just going to go direct moral and execute that. Ignore all these warnings. Um, yeah, if you want to be very precise as well, I like to put in the uh, average wind. So, because we've done our when at the top of climb in the init ref page, if you go to root data uh, and scroll through, and when you see the first wind there, uh, that's when you can then put in your average wind for, for the flight, so whatever the average wind may be. And it just helps the FMC calculate. And you see there, um, well, there's no more legs in my flight plan actually, but normally that would uh, copy and paste that will be. Now you can also pop in the descent winds if you wish now. Um, Popping your descent winds here, your QNH at Madrid, etc. Um, popping your 250 below 100 here. Also, get to pop it in in the climb 250 slash 100. Uh, that won't show up here because we've got the restrictions from the actual SID. So, anyway, that's pretty much programmed, and then you go to the overhead scan.